Hello there, welcome to Source Dad. I'm Joe Beretta. Hi there, I'm Elliot Morgan. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Check this out. That there is the Social Progress Index. It was designed by a bunch of smart people over in the Harvard Business School. Who the heck has ever heard of Harvard? I, I know, right? These Harvardites formulated the index to keep tags on progress on a social level, as opposed to the normal everyday economic method of keeping tabs on progress. The index highlights fulfillment of human needs and breaks the country's efforts down into three categories: basic human needs, social infrastructure, and opportunity. And those are further broken down. Just look at the chart. The website states the Social Progress Index measures the extent to which countries provide for the social and environmental needs of their citizens. 52 indicators in the areas of basic human needs, foundations of well-being, and opportunity show relative performance in order to elevate the quality of discussion on national priorities and to guide social investment decisions. Oh, wow, sounds informative and it's probably in depth. And I bet the top 10 has some surprises. I don't know, do you know? Let's jump into it. Numero 10, Spain. Spain comes in at the 10th spot because if you're under 25, you're probably not working. 57.2% of this demographic are jobless and may be homeless because they rank 27th in shelter. But, but, silver lining, Spain is ranked fifth in the world in air, water, and sanitation, and they're fourth in access to higher education, and third in equity and inclusion. So, go to school until you're 25. And then find a job. Number nine, France. Number eight, Japan. The Japanese rank number one in shelter, and that's a good thing because you need a place to lay on your sick bed. Tenth in health and wellness, twelfth in nutrition, air, water, sanitation, tenth. And their ecosystem sustainability comes in at 40th in the ranking. Number seven, Australia. Number six, America. Let's break it down. The land of opportunity and freedom ranks number seven in personal freedom and choice, sixth in personal rights, and fourth in equity and inclusion. Not bad. Also, not top of the class by any means. And we're straight up flunking in the environmental department because we rank mm, 48th in ecosystem sustainability. Ouch. Ouch indeed. Number five, Germany. First in nutrition and basic human needs, but 17th in access to higher education. Number four, Canada. Number one in personal safety, equity, and inclusion and personal rights. Also, just some really swell people. Yeah. Also, pretty Pretty people. They're pretty girls. Pretty girl. girls. Guys are probably pretty too. They're probably, they're no, everybody's pretty there. Yeah. And despite their attractiveness, they are right behind us in ecosystem sustainability at 47. Number three, Switzerland. The Swiss tied for number one in personal safety with Canada and also earned top marks in access to info and communication. They come in at 16th in both access to higher education and access to basic knowledge, which is a thing, so there's that. Number two, the United Kingdom. The UK is spick and span and up to snuff. Number one in air, water, and sanitation, first in health and wellness, and tops in personal rights. Long live the Queen. And that brings us to number one, which is Sweden. Sweden. But you all all saw that coming, didn't you? Number one ranking in personal freedom and choice, personal rights, and personal safety. Third in air, water, and sanitation, and fourth in nutrition. So there it is, your top 10. Hope you learned something. And uh, go to the website because it's incredibly informative and kind of fascinating if you want to check out everything on a social progressive level. Also, let us know what your favorite country is, why, in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Joe Beretta. My name is Ellie Morgan. Goodbye. Bye-bye.